Hi there, I'm back with another exciting new tool. This one is called Hue versus Contrast, and it allows you to dial in an S-curve style contrast on each hue vector separately, plus one custom hue angle that you can choose. Uh, so let's have a look how it behaves. Uh, so maybe in this shot, I want to just make this apple and the blood pop a lot, and I can dial in some contrast just in the reds. And if I feel like I'm affecting too much of my image, I can use the focus slider to kind of narrow down the hue range. And I can also use preserve neutrals to preserve the skin tones and the more neutral tones. And now, as you can see, we're only really affecting the very saturated reds here. And uh, we also have a preserve saturation slider, so we can choose how much this is applied only on the Y channel or on all channels. And I think to the left looks really nice in this one. I think this is a really cool effect. I love this. I'm actually really excited about this tool. So you can also obviously use the pivot point to see like how dark or bright um, your reds are rendering now. And maybe, honestly, maybe I want it to be quite dark and deep, something like that. It looks really brutal. And if that is not a massive but really nice difference, then I don't know what is. Um, obviously, you can use this for more subtle things. Let's have a look at Isabella. Maybe you just want to make the contrast in the skin tones pop a little bit more so that the talent comes a little bit more up front. And in this case, I'm going to use the custom hue. It's kind of set to a skin tone issue by default. And if I dial in some, you can see some contrast. We just get contrast in the skin tones. But we're also affecting the hair a little bit. So again, I can use the focus to narrow down my hue selection a little bit more. And that looks really nice. We're really only affecting the skin tones. And again, we can use the pivot to see, yeah, in this case, maybe I want to pull it down a little bit to get more, a little bit more shininess in the skin. And now her face pops out so much more, but in a very transparent way that really doesn't draw attention to itself. Another shot that might be interesting to look at is this. Maybe we want to get some contrast just in the clothing, maybe in this red suit here. So again, we can use the red contrast to dial in some contrast. And now we obviously also affect the skin tones, but if we use the focus slider again to make this U section a little bit more narrow, and then also use the preserve neutral slider to exclude the lower saturations from being affected too much. Now we can really increase the contrast here in this suit without affecting too much of the skin tones. And maybe we want to do the same thing to this green suit here, but we might not really get hold of it because it's not really green enough and it's more yellowish green, so we can use the custom hue again. Just going to dial in some contrast and then sweep this around until we get hold of... Yeah, there we really get hold of that green suit. And I think this is a really exciting tool. I'm actually quite pleased with myself <laughs> with this one. Um, I think this is a very cool tool. I think you can do a lot of interesting stuff with it. Here, the same thing. Uh, if we want to have more pop in these in these clothes, we can use the red contrast and then the blue contrast as well, and then use the focus to kind of protect the skin tones a little bit more and then also preserve the neutrals. And there we go, we got more contrast just in the clothes without, without affecting too much of the rest of the image. And that is basically how the tool works. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. And if you find this interesting, you can get the demo on Kofi to have a play around with it. And if you like it, you can just get it from my shop. Uh, well, that's it for today, and I'll see you again very, very soon.